everybody. Today I'm gonna be doing a video that I'm kinda gonna film differently. I don't know, this is gonna be my first video where I show off multiple outfits in one video and I think it's kinda like gonna be good preparation for me filming my Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas slash Hunter S. Thompson theme lookbook. So I thought I would try this one first and kinda see if I could do anything good at all. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys my last ever Betsy Johnson haul on this channel. It's super, super sad. Don't I look sad? I like saying like, I'm sad in like a cheerful manner because it makes me feel better about it. Just to tell you guys right off the bat, I'm not making this video to piss anybody off or like to brag or anything. I bought all of these pieces basically over, I don't know, like the last month ever since she said she was going bankrupt. So I didn't buy all this stuff in one day. I didn't even buy it all. Some of it was a gift from my parents and I didn't pay full price for anything obviously because the store is going out of business so I got everything on clearance some of the pieces I actually got for 20 and 30 bucks at the outlet mall that I normally did all my Betsy Johnson shopping so it was like an outlet price plus going out of business clearance so this isn't me bragging and being like look at all the crap I have I'm really doing this because a lot of you guys asked me to show y'all what pieces I picked out and the other reason I wanted to do this was to kind of like, I, this is gonna sound really stupid, but to kind of like cheer myself up about it. I've been a huge, huge, I've been a huge Betsy Johnson fan slash collector for years. And it really makes me sad that I'm never gonna be able to get another Betsy Johnson piece again. I guess this is kind of a medium size or larger haul, but it's just like for fun. I thought if I made a video showing you guys, my friends, my swamp family, I thought if I made a video kind of like celebrating this shopping trip or this event that it would kind of make it easier on me and be like look I did something fun I don't know so those are my reasons because reasons I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this I'm gonna try and get some cool shots of the different dresses and you guys can tell me what you think about them this dress that I have on right now actually it's kind of ironic because I found it on clearance in the Betsy Johnson store and the night that I bought this dress took a picture of it put it on Instagram that was the night that she announced that she was going out of business so it's so crazy because this is like the last dress I bought before I knew that everything had gone under. I bought this dress honestly because it made me think of Tim Burton type stuff. Huge Tim Burton fan if that wouldn't be painstakingly obvious. Just kind of like the dark rose rosiness of it really kind of made me think of Tim Burton for some reason. I don't know. Just does this make anyone else think of Tim Burton or just me. It has a nice corseted bodice. Most of Betsy Johnson dresses are strapless. And then a quite beautiful rose covered bubble skirt. This dress I was drawn to because I thought I could do a lot of like kind of rocker looking style. I don't know, is that is that the term? I think rocker sounds cheesy. It's almost like that skull shirt I have. They're like, it makes you a rock star. I bought this dress just because I really love the statement rose piece. And I kind of feel like that's the way it is with most Betsy dresses is that the bodice is really decorated or the bodice really catches your eye. And then the skirt is kind of plain, even though the one I just showed you, that's not how it was at all. It was completely the opposite. I take that back. Definitely love the rose piece that catches your eye. And I love the skirt just because I love all kinds of, you know, the Betsy skirts with the full kind of puffy netting kind of style. That didn't come out of my mouth quite right. Uh, okay. Starting to feel a little unkempt at this point. Starting to feel a little hot. I feel like that one episode of The Outer Limits where the guy is actually secretly a fish and then they fill the room with dust and he's trying to breathe and he's got like these gills and it's like, <gasps> I don't know, have, have any of you ever seen that? If not, that reference makes no sense. This dress I had to have when I saw it in the store and I got a really super, super good deal on it. I probably got it for like 75 or 80% off. It was just crazy. I feel like really kind of plain Betsy dresses like this are great to have in anyone's wardrobe this sounds kind of stupid because I don't 
I don't know if you can get any of this stuff anymore, but I'm really glad and thankful to have pieces like this in my wardrobe. And maybe I'm just one of those people that dresses up way too much for no particular reason whatsoever. Something like this, I would honestly wear to a movie date or a dinner date, or kind of just if I'm in a dress up mood and I'm going out to lunch or dinner with friends, this is really not something that I would need a formal occasion for. Actually, probably no Betsy dress is something I'd really need a formal occasion for. I just kind of wear this to Walmart, you know, like just whenever I feel like putting something on or I feel like just having a really like dress up day. And if that makes me crazy, I already know I'm crazy. So anyway, the bodice on this one is really simple, just with a little bit of ruching detail and a little bit of kind of gathered flowers. I don't really know how you would describe these flowers, little rosettes. And they have one single little rhinestone. Actually, I'm lying right now. They have a little cluster of rhinestones, but they're a black or gray rhinestone. So it's not really something that's completely like bling bling during the daytime. And then also the skirt has a lot more of the little, I think that they may be made out of silk. I could be wrong, probably not. It's probably not silk, I don't know some kind of fabric that these little clusters of roses are made out of. Overall, I think it's a great staple piece. This dress is probably one of the most fragile pieces now that I own in my entire Betsy collection. I think it's called the Chantilly Lace style dress, which made me think of that old song from the 50s. Chantilly Lace. Da -da -da -da. So then talking about like necks, necks being loopy and eyes being buggy. I don't know. Something like that. This was kind of part of her last collection, which was very Marie Antoinette styled. And I know I've said this in some other video. I just love Marie Antoinette stuff. This is part of the same collection and I will link you guys at the end because I'm not gonna put that dress back on for this haul. The dress that I ask you guys if I should keep or send back, that's from the same Marie Antoinette style collection. So if you wanna see the dress that's gonna be missing, I will link you at the end. I did a separate video on that one. I did decide to keep that dress for those of you who were wondering. The only problem with this dress is that it's so easy to snag. Like if you had a hangnail, you would probably snag it. So. I'm kind of terrified of wearing rings or bracelets or anything with this dress. The bodice and the floral print is made up of kind of a metallic type thread and the metallic little threads get caught up on each other so it's kind of like a big crazy mess. But I loved it a lot and it's very rare that I can find nice pale or peachy tones that work well with my skin. I really love the look of dresses like that, but it's super rare that I can find one that actually kind of goes well with my complexion and everything. And then the skirt is, I think a little bit unlike most Betsy skirts because most Betsy skirts have a lot of tulle. Like I'm sure the other dresses that I just showed you guys, they kind of stick out a little bit more. This one is a little bit longer than other Betsy dresses and the skirt falls a little flatter, but I think that that looks better for the overall composition of this piece. I picked this dress for two huge reasons. Reason one being I really felt like this was another kind of Tim Burton feel dress. I feel like this is kind of if Tim Burton did his take on what a housewife would look like. I kind of feel like this is maybe what he would come up with. I love the mix of the red and pink roses because it works well for days that I'm wearing my signature red lipstick, but I can kind of try out some pinks as well. The other huge reason why I picked out this dress is because it's so, so casual. And this dress is really comfortable and it's so super simple. The cut of it and everything, it's not really meant for formal occasions at all. I can just throw this dress on and dress it up or dress it down based on what shoes and accessories I wear. I really feel like this is going to be a great summer staple piece to my wardrobe. It kind of has that almost like rockabilly type vibe and I'm kind of looking forward to maybe like doing my hair with some victory rolls and stuff like that and really just playing around with the styling of this dress. This is another piece that I love having in my collection. Once again, I got a really, really good deal on this dress. It was really a steal. I think this is just perfect for the summertime. It's really light fabric. It's got a lot of movement. This is definitely something great to just wear out to lunch or, I mean, you can really wear this dress anywhere. Once again, it's not really formal at all. And I just love the print on it. It's vibrant, lots of roses. I love roses. <laughs> 
Oh, it happened. I sneezed, it happened, I'm sorry. I really feel like this is a dress that you could kind of play around with and layer with tights, maybe some coats and stuff in the winter. So I definitely feel like this would be a great piece that you can wear year round. Okay, so this is the last dress that I have to show you guys. Ugh, noisy plane. Shut up, you flying people in the sky. This is the last dress that I have to show you guys, which is probably a good thing because slowly the giant fireball is descending from the sky. I just got this dress over the weekend and I picked it out with my mom and it was so much fun just to like try on a dress and you know go go dress shopping with your mama. It really really is 100% a traditional corset back dress so it has the boning in the bodice and everything and then you actually do like tighten it and use the ties or what what do they call those things officially. Now this dress does have a little bit more of a formal flair to it in my opinion because the bodice is pretty heavily beaded. I would probably reserve this dress for kind of evening events or more formal Formal occasions but hey you know I still like it this also could be a dress for Halloween if I wanted to do a Marie Antoinette look which I know maybe I'm the only person in the world that Halloween shops in you know June I love the fact that the skirt of this dress is really plain to counteract the heavily beaded bodice the only decoration on the skirt whatsoever is a three kind of folded seamed little accent. It almost looks like ribbon at the bottom, but I think that they just kind of triple or quadruple pleated the hemline. I also love the color of this dress. Once again, I feel like it's a shade other than black that actually looks okay with my skin tone. Normally I can't really pull off light shades that well, but this one I think is great. And as I'm sure you can all tell, this is like heavily, heavily influenced by a Marie Antoinette kind of style. So saw this dress, fell in love with it, had to get it, and I'm so glad Glad that it was really really affordable. I do have four things to show you guys really quick that I'm not gonna try on but I still thought I would show you guys because it's technically part of the haul. Three of these I got really really super cheap. I'm talking around like ten dollars so I absolutely had to get them. I'm kind of stupid. I didn't bring like a t-shirt to change into and these are separate pieces so I don't really have any way to properly model them without totally looking like a chump. First thing I got was super, super cheap and I love it because it's extremely casual but pretty cool looking. And once again, I feel like it's one of those pieces that you could wear summer or winter, spring or fall. It is a, what do they call these? Like bando or stretch skirt. And it's got this really cool kind of like dark cloud print to it. And I believe it's a cotton spandex mixture. The next piece is probably not something that those of you who know me would ever think that I would pick out, but it was super, super cute. And I was having kind of like a Betty Crocker moment, I guess. I thought this was an adorable little separate skirt. It's got a lot of really adorable stripe and pattern print. Can I say adorable some more? There's no lining or anything, but since there's so many pleats in it, it really gives it that kind of full, almost poof effect that I like wearing in skirts so much. A little like grab bag type thing that I got were these tie-dyed kind of socks. They're super comfortable and I thought that they would be great with layering with some of my spiked Jeffrey Campbell shoes but you guys who know me know that I absolutely love tie-dyed stuff and I thought that this was such a fun color and once again had a lot of potential to be layered with tights or worn alone under boots or something. So absolutely last last piece of my haul is this wonderful cropped skull sweater and I absolutely adore anything with skulls on it. This almost looks like the traditional Alexander McQueen logo skull that's on a lot of his scarves. I love skulls, definitely have an obsession with skulls. I love the fact that this is crop top because I almost could layer this with some of the more formal kind of dresses that I showed you earlier with the black kind of flared skirt. I really think that this can be worn casual or dressed I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I will definitely keep it forever and ever and ever. So I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing this haul and some of the stuff that I picked out. Once again, this is not meant to brag. This is just meant for fun and to kind of show you guys like what some of my tastes are, whatever, if you care. <laughs> 
Do you care? One quick thing that I want to say is my shoes and my necklace that I wore throughout this video. I'm utterly crazy about. I wear this necklace almost every day now. The necklace I got from Regal Rose and the shoes that I've been wearing throughout, of course I got from Soulstruck and I will link both of those items down below. I wish I could link you to the Betsy dresses, but a lot of them are completely sold out. So there's really no point. Check online for some last minute deals. I think just recently all of the party more formal kind of dresses have been knocked down to 50% and then if you live somewhere near an outlet they're probably half off of half off so it's probably like really really super cheap at this point. You guys let me know if y'all like this kind of haul editing kind of style. This is really like my first time that I've tried to do this so I hope y'all don't absolutely loathe it. If so I can just go back to the way I've always done stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would really appreciate it if you would all take a minute to subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I'm so hot right now I cannot wait to go just like drink some tea and sit in front of a fan. If you want you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl. And if you want you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyard girl. And I love you guys and I will see you in my next video which is probably like tomorrow or less than 12 hours away from now. Um, Bye.